Hello, I'm Janet Robertson. I have three children in the district, elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, at the last meeting, my time to speak was cut short, and there was so much to say about the new sex sexual education curriculum. I realize the curriculum has already been approved. I also realize that Ms. Rice, who I incorrectly was referring to as a doctor <laughs> last week or last month, um, explained that only three families out of 4,500 students in Benicia voiced concern about the curriculum. Our family has also been told that we can simply have our children opt out of the sex ed classes if we have an issue with the classes. But I would like to say to you, who are entrusted to represent and make decisions for our children, and to the community that may be watching this video, that we have a big concern with what is now being taught to children as young as 10 in Benicia, such as children are being asked to identify their pronouns, and this is now part of the 10-year-old curriculum. This forces a gender discussion beyond the scope of the state requirements and complicates an already overburdened classroom environment. We are alarmed that gender identity is now being discussed in math classes. This takes time from core learning and does not benefit the students or our community. Teaching kids that there isn't any standard or truth and that you can believe anything you want to believe is not scientifically accurate or medically correct. For example, the notion that a girl can decide to be a boy or a boy can decide to be a girl is not true and should not be taught. The new curriculum teaches that individuals can decide if they're male or female regardless of anatomy, does not explain that a boy cannot menstruate and a girl cannot impregnate someone. This is not scientific or medically accurate. Our 10-year-olds will now be taught that they can receive puberty blockers to prevent their body from going through changes that make them uncomfortable. All humans are uncomfortable during adolescence. To teach vulnerable children that a lifetime of dependence on medical care is a viable option is completely unacceptable and evil, frankly. The new curriculum in encourages gender confusion, not gender clarification. All parents should question how this is helpful, scientifically sound, or medically accurate. 12-year-olds will now be taught about oral and anal sex. 12-year-olds. So I get a little emotional about this because I think that's wrong. Um, the Ed Code 51933 requires that instruction and materials should be appropriate for use of pupils with, of all races, gender, sexual orientations, and ethnic and cultural backgrounds. Teaching children about oral and anal sex violates this law since several cultures would not find this teaching appropriate. When we asked, we were told the reason the curriculum removes the idea of male and female was to be more inclusive, but no longer include or no longer identifying females as having ovaries and males as having testes is not scientific, not med medically accurate, and not true. It's nonsense. It's not a choice. People are not gender fluid, and to teach our children this is not okay. Um, we're appalled that the school district has adopted this curriculum. Thank you. Thank you. If very anybody wants to on where to find this information in the new curriculum. I've researched it very thoroughly. I'm happy to provide that. Thank you.